Okay, we have uh, quite a number of people already join us. Uh, probably I will just uh, get started. Uh, Valid, can you just uh, confirm your, your mic? Hello, everyone. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Very good. Okay, well done. So I'm going to start this uh, webinar. Okay, so uh, just for information, uh, we are recording this uh, webinar, uh, which is an e-workshop. So that in uh, moving forward, that if in case that you wanted to, to uh, uh, replay, uh, we are very happy that you 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 can actually uh, replay it and then learn more about it. So uh, of course we will also uh, upload this uh, this video clip uh, on our Defo TV and also our Extranet. So our Defo TV is uh, basically is on uh, YouTube. Okay, so this uh, webinar will be recorded. Okay, uh, I'm your host. Uh, I'm Chai Gig. Uh, I'm uh, the business development uh, in Asia, and of course uh, we have Adele, uh, business development for uh, ANZ. We are the host uh, today, and our speaker Valid. So he is uh, our global pre-sales engineer, and today he will share with you more about dynamic web client. So uh, what are we going to cover today? Uh, in this workshop, we will make sure that you learn about uh, the current features of a Devo dynamic web client. Uh, from a user perspective. So uh, in terms of the agenda, we'll be uh, sharing with you how to set up tiles, okay, which is also discovering on the shortcuts, uh, the category on searching, uh, assign a task, case man manager, uh, interact with the workflow through this uh, web client. And of course, uh, a quick demonstration and explanation by Valid uh, for you. So um, over to you, Valid. Thank you very much, uh, Shage, for the presentation, and thank you, everyone, for joining. So let me share my screen. Yeah. Okay, can you see my screen? Uh, Shage, can you just give yeah, me... Yeah, I can see your screen very well. Uh, <laughs> for those people who, uh, in case they have any questions or uh, you would like to check with us, uh, please... Uh, Post your question on the Q&A or the chat. So uh, Jennifer and I, we will uh, try to answer you as uh, much as quickly as possible. Of course, Valid will be also doing the presentation. We will just uh, keep an eye on for him. Thank you. Thank you, Shagek. So um, just uh, to uh, explain what we are going to see, uh, we will see the search uh, features of the new dynamic web client, the dashboard and the workflow. And I will build with you uh, a dashboard, and uh, and we will see all the tiles in the dashboard. Okay, so let's begin. First, if you want to access to your um, dynamic web client, you have to go in. So if you are using Zephyr Online, of course you have to use the tenant tenant.zephyronline.com and add tdwv at the end of the URL. If you do so, you will be able to access to a new interface and after your login, yeah, you will have an access to the dynamic web client. You can also use the old web client. So let me connect to the old web client now. Okay. And from the old web client, you can go in file, and there is a button here to access to the Zephyr Dynamic Web View. Okay, if you click here, of course, you will be able to access to the same URL than I showed to you just before. Okay, so the the first, so on the left, on the left side, you can see there is multiple things. So there is the dashboard features, the repository, so where you will be able to do a search, the workflow, and the tasks. Let's first speak about the repository and how to do a search. So if you want to do a search in Therefore, you can select uh, the folder and subfolder, etc., to access to your category example here and the category okay invoice for example and you will have uh, two kind of search the first simple search will be an entire search uh, on all the index 
Okay, uh, so you can use a number or a player name, whatever you want, and it will search in all the index to uh, find the document. You can include document content and it will use a full text search in order to find the, the document you search. Okay, so th this is really easy to, to understand. And after that, you have the advanced search. The advanced search here, uh, you have to choose the index you want to use, for example, invoice number, supplier number, invoice date, etc. And if you want to search all the, uh, all the documents, you can directly click on search uh, and let the field, uh, the field empty, okay, search. And that will search all the documents, okay. Like that, uh, it's a, like a classic search in uh, therefore uh, you, you click on find and that will display you all the search in the hit list, okay? If you want to use a specific index, for example, I will go in my advanced search. Just a second. Search. Sorry, let me just refresh the page. Okay, good. Uh, so you have to use a supplier. Um, let's use supplier. And here you can select if you want to search exactly the name of the supplier. This one is contained. For example, I want uh, all the supplier. Uh, if I put, uh, I don't know, FR. I want all the supplier, and I use this, all the suppliers that contain the word FR inside the index. This is a range uh, for a date. It's from two. So if I use, for example, a date, be better to use a date. And I use that, I can say, okay, I want all the invoice from a date to an, a specific date, okay? And after that, upper and lower, you know, uh, it's for an amount or a number. I think uh, you you know what it what is it. <coughs> Sorry. So now let's search um, all the supplier that contain FR. Okay, I think I I will use another category for that. It will be better. I think in my demo I have the it's not capture and I have the incoming invoice. And I will search everything. And now if I want to show you, I want all the uh, invoice numbers that contain 002, for example. I will go back in my search, invoice, advanced, here, contain, and 002. And you see there is all my invites that contain 002 inside. So you don't have to uh, add a star uh, before and after, uh, like in the for navigator. Okay? Just put the, the number you want to search inside a, an index. The last thing about the search is if you go in a category, you can add a new document. If you do so, if you click on add a new document, you have to specify all the index of the document and you can drag and drop or click on the add file to add the file you want to add. And after that, you click on save and that will save your document. And that's it. Now, if I go in advanced search and my uh, field is not here because all the fields here are depending the number of search you have done on it. For example, if I have done a lot of search with the invoice number, it will be the top one. But for example, I didn't use the line item for search, so that's why it's not in the main list here. And if you want to use the line items, you click on add other fields, click on line item, and after that you can add your search here. Okay, I, I, line item or everything else. Okay. And if you use several time line items, it will 
go on the top here and uh, you will not be you will not uh, have to search again in other other fields the field because you have done a lot of search with line items i hope it's clear and now let's do a search and here is the hit list of uh, uh, therefore dynamic web view so in the hit list first there is a either in the either you have um, the possibility to do an, uh, uh, another search inside your your um, your hit list so it, it's like a filter in fact and the second is to add or delete column you don't want to use so here you can say okay i want also the document size uh, on uh, as an either or um whatever you want in fact so you have system um data and you also have the index of the category okay <clears throat> and after that you can drag and drop to uh so you can group by column so i want first player i can group first player uh, etc etc so, for example, uh, there is some empty supplier, but there is also other suppliers here, and you can group per supplier, and that's it. Now, I am in my uh, search, so let me do another search and add a filter here. On the right side. I can see the preview of uh, my uh, search. Okay, this is the preview of my search. On the and you have several actions you can do. The first is open a document. So open a document is just to open a document. A new document is the same uh, than add a document when I was in incoming invoice directly in the search. Part. Delete document is to delete the document. Start a workflow is um, for example, you have a manual workflow and you want to start a specific workflow on an invoice, you can click on start a workflow. Start a task is to start a task. So this is uh, from the last release. If you click on start a task, that will ask you the subject who is assigned to the task, the, the start date and the due date. What are the actions you can do on the task? Complete decline, complete, etc. etc. The, and you can send notification and put an instruction. So please validate my document, for example. And like that, you will receive a notification and uh, you can inside, uh, therefore, complete a task. Okay. And that's it. Um, so maybe I can show you. I will go just quickly on another category. So for example, invoice here. I will do a search. Okay, I will put, uh, take my first invoice, see my preview, click on start task, put a please validate my invoice. I will assign to me. So here it is the same list than in Jaffa. So you can assign to a user or to a group. Select. Okay, the start date should be. Okay. the end date will be tomorrow and I will have approval reject action and some notification etc. It is the same things and the task in the uh, for navigator. And please validate okay. So task created successful, so I should receive an email. Hello, you have a new um, task assigned to you. So if you, if I click on it, on this or on this, this will open therefore um, navigator. This will open the old web client. But in therefore in the settings, you can say okay, I want for all my tasks to have um, here preferred web client. I want for all my, ta my tasks to use the therefore dynamic preview. 
if I click on it, when I will receive a notification, I will receive a notification on the dynamic web client, okay? Not on the old web client. And this URL should be not a viewer, but will contain the TWV as a new web client, okay? So if you, if you want to access directly to the new web client, you have to change here in the solution designer, the preferred web client in the advanced settings, okay? So please do so if you want to do it, to use it. Okay, let me close this part. And now I will access to my task, not using the email, but using the task button. So if I click on task button, I will have all my tasks do, start, and done. If I have a task to do, I click on to do, and I have the hit list, and I can double click on the task, or click on the right side to open button. And now I have approve on, or on the reject, and I can click on approve and reject. Okay, and I have the same things than uh, I have when I open a document, show index data, download file, and start a new task, delete file, etc. Of course, all these are uh, using the, the right you have on the document. If you don't have the right to start a task on a document, you will not see the start task button, of course. And now I can approve, reject, add a comment, uh, okay, for example, and click on approve. And like this, if I go back, so in my task to do, I have nothing else. If I go back in my task, I have one more task done. Please validate, approve, and there is a comment. And I can see the comment directly here. Comment, okay, you see? And that's it. So the, because I am, of course, I am the, the one who created the task, that's why I can see the task done. But of course, the, the the administrator, the, 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 the one who creates the task, the same access than this, okay? You can see the task you have created. And that's it. That's it about the task. Uh, let's go back in a search. And, uh, okay. Now, let's see if you have any question. For the moment, um, I will. Okay, I see question open and discussion. So discussion, there is some question. Let me check. Uh, what is a white arrow do? The white arrow will search uh, like contain. You see, it's uh, it's like you put a start before and after. So I want to search um, in my. I want to search uh, in my supplier, all the suppliers that contain a specific word like uh, WA, I will uh, just use um, the, uh, the white arrow. If I go back here, here. So equal, you have to uh, use exactly the same word that what you search. If I search YA here, you will find nothing. Okay, but here, if I do another search and I search with the same, okay, here, it will search all the supplier which have the word the Y, uh, y yes, sorry. And if I do search, it should, here it's a specific search because I use um, um, a reference table, but with an invoice amount, it will work perfectly. So if I search, for example, I want all the invoice that contain one, two, three inside my um, invoice number. Let me do another search here, advanced. So if I put one, two, three here, not sorry, sorry invoice number. Okay. One, two, three. When I do a search, there is no nothing. Okay. But if I go back in my search and in this number, I put one, two, three here. That will find all the invoice number that contain one, two, three. You see? 
that's the purpose of the white arrow. Okay. Any safe steps like previous action? Um, not for the moment. There is no, 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 it is not possible to save a search for the moment with a new web client. This is to save the order of the column for all search. Uh, this is the order we want as a default. No, no, this is not possible for the moment to, uh, to um, save the order of the column. It is uh, to, to print a document. Uh, no, it is not possible to print a document, but in fact, uh, you will not have uh, features uh, like this because in the old web clients, you don't have the print uh, option. So there is no, oh, you mean right click and print? Uh, no, for the moment, it's not implemented. Okay. Okay, let me see any safe search. Okay. Okay, can default search. Uh, no, you cannot have the uh, all the default, all the search when you will go in the search category here. It will all the time use the equal. And you see um, in the, in, yeah, yeah, it will all, all, always be the equal. Let me see. So there is a start pass button also in the original assignee of the pass. Uh, no, start task uh, in the, so you say here, if you go in your start and you click here, you have a start task when you access to the document. It will only create a new task, okay, if you use the start task here. Um, there is no delegate uh, task, okay? There is only start as accept or reject. Um, so if I create a new task again, uh, not this category, but my voice category. Start task. Uh, I will just... Write a new task quickly. Uh, so new task yeah. assigned to me. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Just complete. Uh, please. Okay. Okay. And I go in my task. I have my task to do. If I go in my uh, task. As an option, there is only the possibility to uh, start a new task. So if you click on start task, that will create a new task. You define again all the um, information of the task you want to create. And there is a, after that show index and all file extra. But there is no option to delegate um, a task for the moment. Okay. So it, it is currently development, as you know. So uh, each version will contain uh, features. So if you don't have it now, uh, that does not mean that you will not have it in the future, okay? Okay, so this is about the search tasks. Let me just see if there is something else I have to show you. I will do a search. Okay, now if I want to ask, oh, the last button is a bookmark. The bookmark is uh, using uh, with a dashboard. In the dashboard, you can use the tiles. I will show you the tiles uh, bookmark. And you can see all the documents you bookmark. If you click on bookmark here, you will have um, a button, uh, not a button, um, uh, a sign here that will explain that you bookmark this document. So you can bookmark multiple documents, of course and you will be able to see it on the dashboard directly when you open your dashboard. I will show you how to configure this just after. 
And if you want to open a document, you can click on the button, open a document, or double click on the document. And after that, you can show the index data and do the modification of the index data. Okay. Um, since the last version of the four, so uh, now the calculated fields are, um, are, are work, uh, work on the dynamic web view. It was not the case before, but now. So if you have, for example, uh, uh, the VAT plus uh, the net amount, it will calculate you the total amount, for example. Okay. So you can, after that, add the index data here, and uh, you can f search a specific field. For example, I want the invoice uh, number. And like, you can search the field you want. Um, what else? You can add a file uh, in the document. So if you click on add file, you have to select the file you want to add. To, to add, sorry, and that will add the document. And uh, you have the check-in, check-out, because you can save the, the, the modification, revert the change, etc. Et if I save, I have to put a command, like a new invoice, check-in, and that's it. Now I have my document with two files. And that's, that's it about the uh, category search. But again, since the last version, uh, we have now the possibility to do a search on a case. Let me just open the case I want to show you. So it is on demo. So now, if I want to do a search on a case, if I click on the case, I can directly access to the category here, or I can do a search on a case, on a case directly, okay? So I want to search uh, my client number, but uh, I don't want to uh, specify something. Let me just quickly refresh. Because I, I did a lot of modification now. Okay. And if you do a search here, you will have a view like this. This is the case you have. And uh, on the bottom, you have the number of documents uh, for the case. So for this case, I have three documents in my category, initial document and four documents in my category, basic document. Okay, and you can access to the uh, document here, or you can create a case directly. So if you click on add a case, you can add a new case. I can also add more things, okay, and save. If I click on save here and I do another search, now there is my new, my new case. And again, I can add the document uh, in my uh, category initial document and basic document, and it will appear here. Okay. And if I want to access to a document, I just have to uh, double click on the document and that will open my document. Okay. That's it about the case, but uh, it's really efficient because you can now have an access uh, like uh, in the classic uh, web client to your case and display your case. Okay, let's see if you have any question. And after that, we will uh, talk about the dashboard. Uh, so, just be careful to be on the last uh, version of the R4 because all the features that I showed to you um, are using the last version of the R4. Okay, there was a new release on summer uh, during uh, uh, July, uh, July and August, depending your uh, country. 
So just be careful to use the last version. The last version in uh, is, uh, 20, is zero two, I think, at the end. Uh, twenty six zero two. Okay. Okay. So about the question. Um, uh, task and workflow task are not combined because it's really different and it's also the same in uh, the phone navigator. So if I show you the phone navigator, here you have the workflow and the task. You see, it's two different things. The tasks are only uh, one action, but workflow are uh, uh, is using multiple uh, action and multiple uh, thing. It, in fact, a task can be uh, can be uh, see as one manual uh, one manual task in a workflow. It just like this, but the workflow is a multiple and it's not a manual task. It can contain multiple things. That's why it's different. Back to the discussion. Uh, yeah, calculate field is supported now on the new um, on the new web client. And in fact, if you want to see uh, the new features of therefore in the last version, you can go in therefore.net slash help and uh, go in early not and here you will see what is um, what is created, okay? What, what is supported now? Okay. For you have all. So this is for therefore 2021, and if you want to access to the therefore nine, you have to click here, and you see it's online. So my um, so it's different than uh, the the therefore 2021 um, help, and here you have all the new change. And uh, so you see calculated field. I will also show you the smart capture verification now supported. Okay. okay, let's continue. Uh, is this for index only? Our boot table line is in a new row with the subtotal and total amount will be calculated. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the table, uh, maybe it's not working. I, I didn't test it, uh, to be honest, but uh, maybe I, I, at the end of the webinar, I will test it and, and see if it is working. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. And let's see the last question. Uh, Why, when I double click on a category, the simple search of the button sub is disabled if I don't feel something in the enter search text? Oh, that, that's strange, uh, Francis. I, I don't know why. Uh, normally, uh, if you click here, the search should be enabled. Uh, maybe you have a right issue or you, 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 you the, the configuration of your user about the right is not correct, but normally it should work like this. Okay, let's continue. Now we will talk about the dashboard. So about the dashboard. So this is a, a, a specific dashboard you can have. I will show you how to create a, a dashboard like this. So because I have a, a 9,000 task, it can take time, you see here. But uh, if you want to create a dashboard, now you have to click on the wheel here and you can create a new dashboard. So a webinar dashboard, for example. And you can create that we create a new tab. A new tab here. And if I, if I click on my webinar dashboard, I have an empty dashboard. 
and you can add files using the edit mode. If you use the edit mode, you can click on the plus here to add a new tile. So you have several tiles. Let me talk about each tiles. So the number tiles is to display the number of document or number of workflow. So you have to specify the name of the tile. So um, number tile, for example. The color of the tiles. So I want uh, a red tiles or I want a blue tiles. Okay. I'm not sure I can. Okay, the button. The text color of your tiles. Again, it's not really important. In fact, it can be important from the user point of view. Okay. And what you want to display in the tile? So you want to display all the um, tasks in a, all the instance of the workflow assigned to you in a specific instance. For example, I have the, um, okay, let me check a workflow where I have a lot of tasks like this, I can show you. Or oh, invoice approval process. Um, I, uh, invoice approval process, let me, invoice approval process. I think I have tasks assigned to and again, I can display only the overview for the current user only. So if I click on this, I can just display my uh, my uh, instance. And you can add a condition. The condition on the number is to display a specific color on the tiles depending a condition. For example, if you have more than uh, five instance assigned to you, the color can be yellow. If you have low, it will, uh, it will be the default color you, you assign. Okay, so well, let's do that. I want yellow, okay. If the value of the task is upper than, upper than five. Okay. And of course you can add multiple conditions. Or if it is upper than five, a specific color is it is lower than uh, one uh, specific color. Save it and erase my uh, my tile. Uh, the color was not very really great because in the screen it's not. But you see, I have more than five um, instance assigned to me. Assigned for all users, sorry, not to me, for all users because I didn't click on uh, the only for me, and it's yellow. If I go in the configure and I put here, M, this is the default color. Okay, and that's it about the number tiles. You have the number tiles here, and if you want to delete the tile, you can click here. If you want to configure the tile, you can click here. Okay, and can move by drag and drop the tiles where you want, okay? Now let's talk about the short, shortcut links. It's really efficient, the shortcut links, because you can add a shortcut to some to another URL. For example, you want to access to the uh, There for Help web page, you can use uh, the, this URL. You, can, you want to access to a specific e-form, you can use a shortcut here. Uh, for the e-form, it's really efficient, in fact. So you, you just have to specify the name of the tile. So my shortcut. The size. So the size uh, for the number, the size is only one to one. But for the other tile, you can specify uh, the, the, the size. And the size is, for example, two. Two it will contain uh, this square. Okay. Let's use two cross two, the color again. Uh, let's put a color like this. And here you will add links. So this is the link to the URL uh, you want. So the name will be what the user will see. And the address is when you will click on the name, you will access to the address. So here, if I use uh, this URL, for example, 
And here I will put uh, zero help web page, save. You see, I have Zafo help web page. So let me see. And if I click on Zafo help web page, I will access to the Zafo help web page. And you can do exactly this to access to any form. Like uh, I want to fill a specific HRE form uh, uh, from my dashboard, I just have to add the shortcut here. Okay. And okay, let's continue about how to edit a tile. So I recommend to uh, move the tiles where you want when you have created all the tiles on your in your dashboard. Okay, because each time you will add the tiles. You can have a reinitialization of the um, of the place of the tiles. Okay, so let's continue. Um, drop tiles. Okay, so drop tiles. It's really easy to configure and to understand. It's just to drag and drop a document into the tiles to save it in a specific category. So save new invoice. For example, this can be used for the smart capture. You want to uh, put an invoice into the smart capture and launch the workflow directly. You will create a save new invoice um, tiles. Okay. So one one is okay. And here, one document, you will put the category. So the category will be um, smart capture. Smart capture input. Okay. And you can display index dialog, a data dialog. If you select display index data dialog, that will show you the index and you have to fill the index and say and um, and uh, save the, the, the document. If you don't click here, if you disable this option, of course you you uh, you, you 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 need to don't have any mandatory field because if you have mandatory field and you do that. Uh, you will have an issue. If you don't have any uh, mandatory field um, and you uh, disable this option, that will directly save the document into the category without any uh, new uh, window. Okay, maybe I can show you uh, wh what happened on each. And this is the name, uh, the title of the drop down. Okay. Let's show you. Oh, it works, so I will just take an invoice I have somewhere uh, on my desktop, my desktop. Okay, this is an invoice. I can drag and drop my invoice. And that's it. My invoice is saved, you see? Uh, it's really easy and really fast to save a document using the, that way. And uh, of course, it's uh, better if you have multiple screen because you get that stuff to drag and drop. Here I have to go in my, uh, in another screen. It's there, but you see, it's really efficient. And you can also let me go into configure here. And if I enable the display index data dialog and I save it, I can also do this here. Drag and drop. But now that will display me the document and the uh, data of the document. And uh, after that, I have to specify the original document name, the status, and save it. Okay. So I will not do it because I already did it just before. But you see, just drag and drop, and that's it. Nothing else. So for the uh, smart capture, as I said, it's really efficient if you want to to do it. Okay, let's continue. Bookmark styles. I explained just before how to add a document in the bookmark. You just have to click on bookmark action button. Now, if I add a bookmark, I just need the size. I will put the uh, uh, tutu. How oh, many Okay. And here you see that's all my documents I bookmarked. And Moyaware was a document I bookmarked just before. And like this, with this, these styles, I can directly access to my um, bookmarks directly. 
I can click on open or uh, disable the bookmark or lock the document. Okay. Again, uh, I can drag and drop, to, uh, but I will do it at the end just to reorganize the, the dashboard. Okay, now the workflow inbox. Style. So, workflow inbox styles uh, will uh, show you all the instance of the a specific workflow, and you can directly access to your workflow tasks. Again, I will my smart uh, uh, instance. Okay, and I will use the smart capture smart capture process. Okay, okay. I think it's here. Yeah, of course, because I will just change it after. And you see, these the, those are all the tasks assigned to me. Okay, and if I want to access to my task, I just have to click here and I will have an access to my task. And this is a smart capture task, so I can exactly do the same than the smart capture. So this is from the new version of the for uh, online, okay? Uh, so you can access to your task and after that you can uh, uh, complete the invoice, etc. Go back to the dashboard. Ordinary dashboard. This is all the overdue tasks. So if you want to access directly to your overdue task, you have to click on this button and that will display your overdue task. So it's really easy to understand. Okay, the graph tiles is to display you. Okay, I will create just quickly a new dashboard for that. <clears throat> just to show you the uh, webinar graph dashboard. Create it here. So the graph tile here. Yeah. The name of the um, the size, the color, you know, what is this? And the chart type, so you can have a bar, donut, and pie um, graph. Okay, this is like a reporting uh, thing, so you, you can select what you want, pie, for example, or maybe bar. And now you have to select what you want to display in this graph. So you want to uh, display the document created last year, last month, by, by category, etc., or uh, something in the workflow. Do you want to display the workflow instance by process, by running process, etc.? So let's use the by running process. And here for current user, okay. And here I can select what, uh, if I want to display all the instance all the workflow i can put all but here i will just display the smart capture process uh, for current user only yeah i have four tasks so it's perfect but let, let's use like this if i save it i i just see i have 10 uh, tasks uh, on the smart capture process and and if i click on it, I will directly access to my workflow and my tasks. Okay, so this can be really uh, helpful if you have uh, three or four process for workflow and you want to see uh, where are your tasks on all the workflow and if you have tasks to, to do directly. Okay. For example, in here, I can see all my workflow and I can display uh, uh, the work, this workflow, all the instance, etc. So I want to access uh, access to uh, all the tasks of the management of the invoice. I can click on it, and that will display all the tasks. And after that, this is all the tasks. But you can of course uh, uh, do a filter to my instance, and with my instance, you can 
see there is all the instance assigned to you and access to your tasks in the workflow. And after that, you can approve or reject or whatever you have in the task. Okay, okay let's continue. So the graph is just like this. I will... And the last style is quick search style. So the quick search is really easy to understand. Quick search. Just to do a, a quick search. And you can add a custom text here if you want on the quick search. And you can search on all the on all the index or only a specific uh, only on the um, using the full desk or only on in the index in fact this style is exactly the same than this simple search but on all the documents okay and if you click on include document content you will do a, a search using the full text and this is the same uh, using this quick search and that's it if you do a search that will uh, display you the hit list that's it uh, here you can click here to manage the tile to go in the configuration copy to uh, a specific dashboard etc or you can uh, just uh, expand uh, the tile if you have uh, for example uh, back here and you want to expand this tile to see exactly what happened you can expand it and display your your, um, your tile okay i hope it is clear uh let's see if you have any question and after that we will talk really uh fast about the workflow because i already show you the, the workflow thing you see on this dashboard i have the hr e form and i can click on it and that will directly display my HR if um, if my automatic login is done or if the anonymous account is um, if you have already uh, set the anonymous account you can put directly the URL with the anonymous uh, uh, um, URL and that will display you directly the the e form. Okay, let's see if you have any question. Uh, Okay, so thank you, Jennifer, uh, for testing the calculated view in the table, uh, and uh, it works, so that's perfect. Okay, uh, Francis, you have to change to the version 26.0.2. If you want to have all the features, um, I shall remove setter, create a general or any form dashboard for all use. Okay. Uh, the question is can administrators create a general or uniform dashboard for all users, meaning all users have the same dashboard at once? It is in progress. In fact, th this feature is in progress. So you, for the moment, there is not a standard feature for that. But you can use a REST call and use a um, create dashboard in order to do exactly this. I, I mean, you create your dashboard, and after that, you use the, uh, in a workflow the create uh, dashboard REST call, and that and you will uh, select a, a user or a group of user, and that will directly copy the dashboard uh, to for for the users. Okay, so. If you want, if you can wait until the next version, uh, you will have the, the sharing dashboard feature. But if you don't want to wait, or if it is ready for a customer now, uh, you want it now, uh, you can use the create a dashboard feature um, REST call uh, method. Okay. Uh, I have new version twenty twenty one. Class, you book. Client is working, okay. Uh, but oh, I, I, can I start a dynamic web client? It seems not to work by default. Uh, uh, is there another URL as it is for the classic web client? Don't find much in the documentation. Uh, I, I explained this uh, at the beginning, but let's just come back quickly on this. Uh, 
uh, you have to use the URLs that you use to access to your uh, classic uh, web client. It's an URL like this with the phone line of, or the IP address or the DNS name uh, of your server, the phone server. And after that, you have to use the link TDWV. If you do this, you will access to the new uh, web client. Or you can directly access to the old, the classic web client. And here you have the button therefore dynamic web view. Just be sure uh, the web um, the web service uh, are launched, therefore web service and uh, correctly configure. If it is the case, normally it should work perfectly. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now we have three minutes to talk about workflow. So uh, you have here a button workflow, and in this button workflow, you can display all the um, um, workflow where you have a task. Okay. If you want to display all the workflow, you can click on show all and that will display all the work. Okay. If you want to access to all uh, to, uh, to a specific uh, workflow, you just have to click on the workflow here, the, the box. And here you, you can display all the work. Depending your right, you can, of course, display all the instance or all the instance running, etc. So this is depending the right you have. And after that, you can open the workflow clicking on this button or double click on this button. Again, as I said, since the last version, this is great because we can use a, we can do the smart capture process directly using the dynamic web client. So, so this is really cool. And you can also display only the overview uh, workflow. If you want to display only the overview, you just have to click on one overview and that will display the overview task you have to do. And if you want to display only uh, all the tasks you have to do, you can click on all uh, on the task on the top, you see uh, 74 in uh, inbox. And if you click on it, uh, you will see all the task assigned to you. And after that, you can group by uh, task, for example, and you can, okay, I want to first to uh, process this task, this task, etc. Okay. Of course, you can also group by uh, due date, etc. depending, in fact, how you want to use uh, the workflow. And uh, yeah, the workflow. And that's it. Uh, you can access to a specific overview or a specific um, uh, workflow. So if I click here, I will only display my overview instance. But again, on the right, you can display all your instance, etc., for a specific workflow. Okay, I think that's it about uh, the new web client. I hope it was clear. It was uh, you. You learned something. Uh, let me just see if you have any other question. Uh, no, I think no more question. Um, okay, so um, you will be able to see this uh, webinar on um, our extranet and uh, therefore YouTube TV, I think. Uh, thank you very much. Um, to attend this uh, webinar, and I hope it was clear. Okay, Shogek, if you uh, want to add the last word. Sure. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for all your questions. I think those are very interesting questions that we have received from you, and uh, we have also answered almost all of them. Uh, in case that you have any other question that which is uh, after trying it and then you would like to ask further, uh, please send to our pre-sales uh, at therefore.net, the email address. Okay, so we will definitely uh, will try our best to answer you. As for this uh, uh, recorded uh, webinar, we will post it on our uh, Therefore TV and, of, of course, on our Extranet. Uh, please uh, access it anytime that you like.
and thank you again for your time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.